Hey guys, Synergy here and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one is a follow up to my tutorial and it is on the EVA 8 shotgun guys. So we're going to get into this gameplay now and basically I'm going to sort you through it, talk you exactly through what I'm doing and stuff like that. You can see my connection isn't great at the moment. Hopefully that will go up a bar or two. Um, yeah, but we're just going to get into this one. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to climb up because usually you'll find the enemy team because they spawn right over this ridge here, they'll be around there. God knows how that guy made it there that quick, but we're going to chase him down and pick up that nice free kill there because they always camp in that corner. Okay, so if you're at B flag and you see the guy there, that is chances are that's exactly where they'll be sitting. I actually sit in this position because that other place is a common place. You can see a guy coming up at the minute. And I actually end up have to kill him blind there because I was hit by the arc grenade, but luckily I actually knew where he was. So I'm just pushing on to see at the moment guys because no one's taking it anyway so I might as well get the capture points for that because the XP is going to rack up, uh, the points are going to go up and hopefully we're going to get a few challengers. Preferably not spectres because spectres are annoying to take out with the shotgun and whenever you're shooting the spectres you're also giving away your possession so just be careful of that guys you can see two there yep one to me left one to the right i'm just gonna look left look right and they disappear pretty damn quick okay so we got a lot of spectres around here so i've got no choice but to take these ones out and I didn't really want to do that because now the enemy team's going to have seen me on the minimap. So you do want to be careful of that. But we're going to recap B. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head straight over to our seaside because chances are I'm going to meet them in the tunnel around. We're around, we're around. There you go. Spectra, Spectra. You see him camping upstairs here. Where is that? There he is. And we take him out. There you go. So we pick up another kill, guys. You're cool whether I take it. The best bet with the shotgun is when you're actually doing the G2 challenge on the shotgun, you just want to be quite attacking minded, you don't want to be too defensive minded, because if you're in defense, if you imagine it, people can see you from a far distance. Right, and there we go, as we're attacking B, we end up taking out another player. Right, so you can see that guy actually took me out at the minute. My auto titan is picking up a few random kills for me, that's because of where I set it. Um, obviously what you want to play for is you do always want to play for the win guys, so just don't forget, be aggressive and get those shotgun kills racked up as you can see I'm just running straight at him if he's far distance he's gonna have the shot on me So um, that was pretty bad of me, I just actually walked past those art mines I think we were. Um, luckily I didn't get taken out by that one guys. Sorry about the little bit of a pause there. Okay, so they've got titans now. You do not want as many titans as you can get onto B. Because chances are they're always going to hold that flag as long as they've got a few titans up. But you can see we nearly pick up that human kill. He actually took a two hit marker there, so we should technically be dead. But we're just going to help him cap C at the minute. We are going to try and pull this back as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the actual zip line. Zip lines are great from getting you to place to place. Um, basically, faster way of getting there. You can see random guy just jumped past my screen, but we're going to totally ignore him. And we're going to put pressure on here because we do not want to lose the game as well, guys. And all I'm doing here, I always struggle getting into this window from here. It usually doesn't play out as well as that for me, but we end up paying dividends for that and we actually end up picking up a human kill from it. And there you go, we get our Titan as well in the midst of it.
So what I'm going to do guys is I am actually going to pause a little bit throughout the commentary. I'll start commenting when something actually happens. Other than that I'll just let you enjoy a bit of the gameplay as well. I don't want to bore you too much but basically all I can really say on the tutorial is Domination is a very good game for your G2 tank. Uh, G2 tanks, what am I talking about? G2 challenges. Um, what you want to do is when they're taking flags that's where you're going to pick up most of your kills uh, you just want to be careful of the way you're going into it as you can see there the air was contested and I knew he was directly in that corner so we pick up a nice easy kill there there's a guy around here somewhere okay we end up shooting that one luckily he didn't pay attention to us and we pick up another freebie kill there you go, my auto titan just got me the level up. We just captured Hardpoint Bravo. We're losing Charlie. Right, so we're actually losing C at the minute, and as you can see, B was actually being neutralised. So what we're going to do, you can see my score, 11 for 4, is we're just going to take our titan right over to B, get that cat point, and unfortunately, our titan was in nuclear ejection. So yeah, we're not going to worry about that, we can see that guy in the corner there, we take him out, but there's too many people on B, and I end up getting taken out on that one. If there's too many people, don't worry guys, just try and pick up a kill or two. If you can get one kill, two kills, it doesn't matter, it's going to add to our your challenges at the end of the day. Um, one of the biggest things is worrying about your KD ratio, if you do that, you're going to find yourself camping in corners, and just waiting for people to go past. Yeah, you'll pick up the kills, but you won't pick them up fast. That's the number one rule. So there we go, we're going to help that Titan, and we're just going to ride over it, straight into C, we're going to help to cap that back. Unfortunately, Spectres seem to be going mad on this domination game, so they seem to be absolutely everywhere, but they end up contributing to a lot of our challenges and giving us quite a bit of XP, actually, from taking them out. Right, so you can see we've actually regained the lead here, and what I'm doing is I'm capping C, just making sure that that enemy team cannot come back and we take a guy out who's challenging C, we end up bringing in our Titan, going to put that into follow mode so it comes on to B just in case I die. Um, we're going on to B, we cap it, I'm going to re... sort of go back on myself, because I can see double dots on the C flag, the round, so I know that, and unfortunately they both had eyes on me as I was coming through the tunnel. So there we go, I get taken out again. Nuts! They have no loyalty. They're loyal only to their operator. You're gonna lecture me about loyalty. You change your uniform like you're changing sucks. In the end, against faceless machines and people like you who fight only for a paycheck, we will win. Oh, I'll fight you for three times. I have to find you on the ground soon, eh? Okay, so we just got the second challenge, and there you go, guy behind the table again, we end up taking him out, unfortunately cloak guy coming through the doorway, ended up with eyes on me, I can't look at two places at one time, but yeah, you're going to see that this does work, this is part two guys, so um, obviously you got to uh, rack up a few of your deaths as well. And there you go, we see this guy messing around over here, and we're going to pick up the free kill off him. Another guy, boom, through the gear, I think that was an art mine that actually hit me, we know another guy's there, and unfortunately they're throwing a lot of art grenades, so I'm just backing up at the minute, hoping they'll come through the door, and I get caught in the spray there guys. Right, so that gives us the win guys. 
you go. You can see we're just racking up a few of the kills coming to the end of the game. Don't forget to like, subscribe, guys. If you share the videos, it's much appreciated. You can see there, pilot kills 16. We actually picked up 9 deaths in that game, but that's not bad. We're going after the challenges, and we wasn't going after a kill death ratio. I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of this video guys and yeah, peace out.